Uh, four, 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 four. This is how I know the date in December. It is. I think that's supposed to be a reindeer. That's weird. Yeah. Tastes good. Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Um, I have just been enjoying my advent calendar for today. Many thanks to my roommate's parents for that. As it turns out, my videos have been, you know, shorter than I expected them to be. Okay, I expected Saturdays to be short. I was gone most of the day. Yesterdays ended up being much shorter than I thought it was going to be. Um, but what can you do? Sometimes videos are short, sometimes they're long. And a lot of it comes down to having an idea. And if you don't have a solid idea, then it makes the video that much harder to create. And trying to find ideas for Vlogmas videos has been a bit of a struggle for me this year. So today, my theme is this. oranges. Specifically, it's a clementine. I'm not going to eat it now because I just ate chocolate. And in my humble opinion, chocolate and oranges do not go together. But I do enjoy my oranges and I do enjoy clementines. And for me, I always know it's getting close to Christmas when you start being able to buy the gigantic boxes of clementines in grocery stores and they're like super cheap because they're on sale. That is a sure sign of Christmas for me. Um, I should stop throwing this in the air, shouldn't I? When I was a kid, and basically every time I have Christmas with my family, uh, we always start our Christmas day by opening our stockings. And right at the end of, of our stocking, right down the little toe, is a clementine. Always. And the rule was, that we could eat whatever candy we wanted from our stocking before breakfast as long as we ate our clementines first. And it's just, it's always been a thing where Christmas morning, we have a clementine, then we eat a whole bunch of candy, and then we go and we have pancakes or waffles. To me, the clementine is kind of one of the symbols of Christmas. It's been a staple of my Christmas since I was a kid. And so now it's just, it's just always there. And it, it, it's weird to think of a Christmas without a clementine. Also, it reminds me of one of my favorite Doctor Who episodes, Christmas Invasion from, oh gosh, that would have, I think it was Christmas 2005. It was the first episode that David Tennant appeared in as, as the Doctor. And he wasn't talking about clementines, he was talking about satsumas, which are slightly different, but said, just kind of sums up Christmas, doesn't it? You go through all those presents, and right at the end, there's just one big old satsuma. And yeah, you know what? Kind of does sum up Christmas. Because while it's not at the end of all my presents, just at the end of my stocking, there's always a clementine, and it's always going to be there. It's always going to be the first thing I eat on Christmas morning. I'd love to know if any of you guys have a fun clementine or fruit story uh, to do with Christmas. So leave me a comment down below or shoot me a tweet uh, on Twitter. And I will see you all tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas!